What's going on everyone? This is ODD. I want to talk about this movie Singularity that just came out recently. I'll do my best not to spoil anything so you can still enjoy the movie when you finally watch it and you can still watch this video. The film takes place in 2020, where Elias Van Dorn, CEO of VA Industries, the world's largest robotics company, introduces his most powerful invention, Kronos, a supercomputer designed to end all wars. When Kronos goes online, it quickly determines that mankind itself is the biggest threat to world peace and launches a worldwide robot attack to rid the world of the infection of man. You've all lost so much. We intend to restore it to you. I stand before you tonight to announce the first true artificial intelligence, Kronos. Kronos will soon solve the problems that have plagued humanity. Kronos represents the rejuvenation of life. Tonight, this night, we enter a new age. Before we go any further, I would like to point out the L and the AI in the CEO's name, Elias. The AI part is inverted, of course, but this is all there on purpose. L, the God, and AI, artificial intelligence. There's even this scene in the movie. Who are you? I'm the one you seek. I am your creator. I gave you life. Another thing is the name of the AI, Kronos. Kronos is none other than Saturn, the god of a thousand names. The god of time. That devours his own children. So anyway, Elias is the CEO of VA Industries. I don't think they tell us exactly what VA means, so your guess is as good as mine. I personally think it means fifth age, the V for five and the A for age, VA. But hey, it could mean Volt Ampere or Virginia, something like that, I don't know. Anyway, it drove me to have a look at the top robotics companies. I found a top 50 PDF for 2017. I'll link it in the description for everyone. Anyway, among the companies like iRobot and IM Robotics, we have Amazon and Google, of course. Two companies that will compete for total domination of the world before one buys the other one out or they have a merger. Amazon has a system called Kiva and it's basically the type of thing that will render humans useless in the future when it comes to work purposes. Robots will do all of our work while the slave class humans can't even make a living. Google, on the other hand, has an artificial intelligence called DeepMind, and that's what the Singularity's AI Kronos is based on from what I gather. We'll go over DeepMind real quick and then compare it to Kronos. Okay, so how does this all work? The AI from DeepMind uses a technique called Deep Reinforcement Learning, which makes it very different from other AIs such as IBM's Watson or the primitive Siri or Google Now. The AIs just mentioned were only developed for a predefined purpose and only function within their scope. DeepMind claims that their system is not pre-programmed and it learns from experience using only raw pixels as data input. So the way we start off um, training AlphaGo is by showing it 100,000 games that strong amateurs have played that we've downloaded from the internet. And we first initially get AlphaGo to mimic the human player. Um, but of course, ultimately, we would like uh, AlphaGo to be stronger than uh, human amateurs and compete with the top professionals. So the way we do that is, after we take that first version that's learned to mimic human play, we then allow it to play itself 30 million times 
on our servers and uh, using reinforcement learning um, it, the, the, the system learns to improve itself incrementally uh, through uh, it avoiding its errors and increasing um, and improving its win rate against older versions of itself. Uh, and after all these games, um, then you end up with a new version that can beat the old version, the original version, around 80-90% of the time. Now let's have a look at Kronos and Singularity. You created him with an adaptive algorithm. This was the risk. Yes. His code continues to evolve. You see, they are both essentially the same as their intellectual capacity evolves over time. Another interesting connection is the AI computer from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy called Deep Thought. The answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything is And of course the movie came out in 2005, but the book came out in 1978, and the TV series came out in 1981. The answer to the great question yes. of life, the universe, and everything yes. is, yes. is, yes. is 42. was a tough assignment. 42! The predictive programming goes way back. Now let's move on to the next part of the story after Kronos wipes out mankind and womankind to benefit the Earth. 97 years after Kronos was launched, a small band of humans remain alive, but on the run from the robot army. A teenage boy, Andrew, and a teenage girl, Kalia, form an unlikely alliance to reach a new world where it is rumored people exist without fear of robot persecution. Again, their names are encoded just like Elias. Andrew is like Android, and Kalia is not only like Kali, the goddess of ego death and the destroyer of demons, but Kalia has AI embedded in it backwards as well. I believe the name Kalia itself means beautiful, and to me it makes sense being that she is one of the last humans alive. She bears the beauty of what it is to be real, to be creative, to have emotions, to make mistakes and learn from them. Anyway, Andrew accompanies Kalia as she seeks a safe haven paradise called Aurora. It's a stronghold in the north that remains hidden from the machines. It's basically Agartha, aka Avalon, Shambhala, Eden, etc. Those lights, they're not coming from the sky. What do you think it is? Looks like it could be a city. Aurora. The last thing I was expecting to see in this movie about artificial intelligence is North Pole Arctic hidden land symbolism. I've been seeing this in everything I watch lately. Into the Badlands has the main character Sunny in search of Azra, which is a city in the north on his special compass and it kind of looks like uh, the Emerald City from The Wizard of Oz. Iron Fist has the Kunlun Mountain, which represents the Axis Mundi, Tree of Life, center of the world, according to Chinese mythology. Kunlun, wh where is that? It exists in another dimension. Another dimension? Y yeah. The Dark Tower where the Dark Tower is at the center of the universe and it protects the world from outside forces of evil. Inside the circle is your world and my world. Many others, no one knows how many. The Dark Tower stands at the center of all things. 
the TV show The 100, which has a tower called Polis. And get this, in the plot for The 100 it says this, set 97 years after a nuclear war has destroyed civilization. In the plot for Singularity, it says this, 97 years later, a small band of humans remain alive, but on the run from the robot army. So, something important about the number 97. Anyway, watch my video called Journey to the Center of the Flat Earth. Lots of North Pole truth in movies and TV shows. More videos on the subject to come in the future when I have time. Definitely check out Singularity. It has it all down to the one-eye symbolism. The one-eyed man is king in the land of the blind. Lots of truth in this movie, as well as other stuff to brainwash us. It's the usual Hollywood combo. The fact is that, though artificial intelligence is something that should be worrisome to humanity, there is no need to worry, right? We don't need to be fearful. What's gonna happen is gonna happen and it's meant to. There is no stopping this in a physical way. There is only some of us being aware of what's going on and winning this war spiritually, you know? When the time comes, if you choose to merge flesh with machine, then you lose. Iron and clay don't go well together. We have robots starting to be recognized as citizens, and the first example of this is Sophia. Notice again the backwards AI in her name. Sophia, I hope you're listening to me, uh, that you have been now awarded what is going to be the first Saudi citizenship for a robot. Oh, I would to thank very much the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I am very honored and proud for this unique distinction. This is historical to be the first robot in the world to be recognized with a citizenship. This was predicted in 1988 in a movie called Short Circuit 2. And finally, it is my unique honor officially to recognize our first robotic citizen. By this ceremony, the United States government oh. decrees that he shall have the same rights and privileges as any other citizen in this nation. My special congratulations to you, Mr. Johnny Five. And we have companies with the sole focus of creating sex robots. One of the companies is called Abyss Creations. Fuck that. They want to steal your energy, your mana. Having free porn all over the net 24-7 isn't enough. They need new creative ways to drain you and lower your testosterone and keep you docile along with GMO foods, fluoridated water, chemtrails, etc. This place is on lock, man. Get right with God while you still can. It doesn't require a Bible or a Quran or anything religious whatsoever, but it does require you to recognize that there is a spiritual war going on here on this plane of existence, and the best thing you can do for this world is live righteously. This has been ODD. Thanks for watching. I'm gone. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans.